Time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who is also the editor of Coindesk, the state of crypto newsletter. Good morning, Nick. So I see that the Commodities Futures Trading Commission and Kraken have reached a settlement. Tell me a bit about that. Good morning. Yes, Kraken will pay a $1.25 million fine in settling charges with the CFTC that uh, it offered, quote, illegal off-exchange uh, margin retail commodity products. Um, you know, it's not a it's not a very big fine, but uh, it's pretty significant. Kraken says it, uh, you know, proactively stopped offering this product to U.S. traders back in June after only a year of, you know, offering in the first place. And, uh, you know, it's kind of, it just seems to be one of those settlements where, you know, both parties can walk away saying, yeah, you know, we got something out of this uh, without any major, um, you know, nothing major in terms of penalties or, uh, you know, slaps in the face and certainly no drawn out legal fight. Nick, are we likely to see this exchange, to, uh, this extended to other exchanges in the U.S., this kind of thing? It uh, wouldn't be surprising. I'm not too familiar with which exchanges offer, you know, uh, leverage uh, or margin products in the U.S. But, you know, I imagine any exchange that does or has, you know, even so much as offered to maybe paying attention, uh, maybe has already heard from the CFTC. Um, you know, if they haven't heard from it, then, you know, maybe they're okay. But yeah, this is the kind of thing where you have to register as a futures commission merchant and a uh, designated contract uh, market. And, uh, you know, not that many exchanges have these kinds of licenses from the CFTC or the National Futures Association. Nick, we've been hearing a lot about the China crypto crackdown, which will make way for their digital yuan to be the exclusive digital currency in China. But what about the United States? Anything new on the digital dollar? So yesterday, Fed Chair Powell was speaking to the Senate Banking Committee, and uh, Senator Pat Toomey did ask about this. Um, basically, Powell's response is Congress should come up with some legislation that authorizes the Fed to issue a digital dollar. Uh, you know, if there are any specific details, then you know he's kind of throwing the ball into Congress's court. He's not committing to launching anything or going beyond you know the reports and the analysis that are already ongoing uh, without this kind of backup from the legislature. 